Hey, good morning, everyone. I just wanted to do a video today of the uh, recap of the TriStar Houston show I went to yesterday. I had a total blast. I um, picked up a whole bunch of great deals. I got this uh, 2018 Top Stadium Club wax box. You get two encore autographs in every box. And then the 2018 Pro Debut Tops. Um... Two autograph cards, two memorabilia cards per box. I'm going to change things up a little bit on opening these boxes. I'm not going to do them on camera. I'm going to open them up and then I'll do a recap of shows like the uh, the hits, the rookies, parallels, um, etc. Uh, this takes too long to uh, do the video of the whole box opening. So I'm just going to do the recap. So I'll do those. I don't know when. Uh, maybe later in the week. I will go ahead and show you the singles that I picked up. Found a bunch of great um, PC items. First one I picked up is this um, 1994 uh, Leaf MVP Contenders Silver. Um, didn't notice the hole in it till just about five minutes ago when I was reviewing all the cards. Um, Bagwell did win the rookie, uh, the, yes, the MVP in 94, so you could submit this card for, uh, some other cards or a series of cards, set of cards, I'm not sure what, but, so this is the redemption, a hole was punched in it, and, uh, they sent it back to the collector, and they punched a hole in it so that you couldn't send it in for another redemption, so, uh, these were, there were 10,000 of these made. And uh, really happy to have this, especially that it is a redemption. <clears throat> Picked up this 91 Leaf Maddenly preview card. It says on the back, preview. These were inserted into 91 Donruss Hobbies, Hobby Factory sets. Uh, there was four per Hobby Factory set. And they were just to preview the new uh, Leaf series coming up. So, pretty sure I did not have this Maddenly preview. So, happy to have that. I got this 1987 Maddenly Baseballs Game Winners out of Fleer a box set card. I love picking up these box set cards. They're, they're not valuable or anything, but uh, kind of hard to find sometimes because the box sets are becoming harder to find uh, especially in the whole set but uh, so like that another oddball Maddenly Wonder Stars uh, from Wonder Bread I believe um, looks like 1990 I love picking up the uh, the oddball stuff from the food food issues and such I got this one. This is a 2003 Fleer Showcase Barry Bonds Hot Gloves. I um, actually did not pick this up at the show. This was given to me by a buddy of mine. Um, his name's Aaron. We have uh, reconnected. We used to work together many, many, many years ago. And uh, we both were collectors and kind of left the hobby for a little while and came back. And uh, we just reconnected. So. Uh, he traded this to me. We trade back and forth, and so we both uh, love the '90s, early 2000s inserts. And uh, this is a real cool insert die cut. Pick this up uh, for my '89 upper deck set. I am three cards away from the completing the set, and I believe it is Ken Caminetti. Um, Ripken Jr. and Steve Finley. So I'll snag those on COMC later today. But uh, Smoltz Rookie. I had several of these, but over the years I've sold off some of the rookies. So I had to pick this one up to finish my set. Uh, you may say, what is this? This is just a common card, 1990 Tops, Jeff Juden. Um... Putting together this set as well, but I was going through my Astros 1990 team set, 
and realized I was missing one card and this was it. So I now have the uh, 1990 Tops Astros Complete Set. I may need to pick up another one of these for my uh, regular 90s set that I'm putting together. So kind of weird. I work backwards. I get my Astros team set put together first. Then I put together the master set of the whole run. <clears throat> 89 Upper Deck Bonds needed it for my 89 Upper Deck set. 89 Brady Anderson. Upper Deck needed it for my set. Picked up this Noah Syndergaard first Bowman card. Um, 2010. This is for my buddy Jake. Um, I picked this up for him at the show. Omar Vizcao I needed for my 89 number deck set. This is a card for some reason I just could not find at a good price anywhere. Um, so I was lucky that I found this today. I went ahead and picked up a second copy. I think he'll be going to the Hall of Fame soon. And uh, nice to have a, a, an extra copy. This Anthony Rendon X Factor from uh, Topps Chrome. It's his rookie card. 19, I'm sorry, 2013. I used to PC Rendon, I don't really anymore, but when you find a bargain, find this in a bargain bin, I uh, can't pass it up. So this is another car that my buddy Aaron traded to me. It's uh, 1995 Dimension, 1995 Tops Dimension 3, as uh, D-Zone, so pretty cool card. Uh, my buddy Aaron bought this for me at the TriStar show. I needed it to complete my 89 Upper Deck set, so he picked this up for me. Big unit rookie. We got a 2006 Bagwell Atomic Refractor. I may have this already in my Bagwell PC, but I mean, for the price I found it at, a quarter, uh, I'm going to buy these all day long. Same thing for the Biggio quarter bin pickup. Give it to me every day. Picked up Eloy Jimenez, uh, Tops debut, 2017. This guy's supposed to be a stud. It's not really a rookie card. I guess it's like a pre-rookie card, but uh, so I snagged it. Got this awesome Vlad Jr., 2018 Tops Holiday Snowflake. Um, it is numbered to 50. I usually do not spend a lot of money on single cards, but I know this guy is supposed to be the real deal. And uh guy gave it to me for 30, so probably still a little overpriced, but if he, if he uh, lives up to all the hype, it should be a great card to have. <coughs> 64 tops. Rookie Stars Colt 45s. I needed this for my master set. I love this card. Juan Soto Atomic Refractor uh, 2018 Bowman Chrome. Um, the seller told me it was out of Mega Box. So I uh, couldn't find a lot of these online. I did find one graded uh, PSA 9 for like $50. Buy it now. He had 25 on it, and he gave it to me for 20 so that's a beautiful card, and uh, it's not again, it's not really a rookie card, it's a pre-rookie card, Bowman's Chrome Prospect, but I love it. 63 Tops Rookie Stars, it's got a Colt 45 in it, Dave Roberts, I needed this for my master set, and these are really tough to pick up, expensive, <coughs> excuse me, but I uh, found... Both of those and the dollar bin. Not the greatest condition, but doesn't matter to me. They're set fillers. 94 Fleer, Maddenly Team Leader. Do not think I had this one. This is a 90, uh, 94 Studio Heritage insert. For some reason, I did not have this one either. Um, Beautiful card. I just love the vintage look at it of it. Uh, so real nice. Found this. 
98 Jose Canseco rookie 98 score rookie traded artist proof showcase series um, posted this on Twitter the second I found it to a uh, to Tanner Tan Man baseball fan and he connected me to a seller and uh, sold it same day so this will be going out in the mail beautiful card I wish I could find some of my guys in this card I'm have to look and see who all is available but uh, just an awesome card beautiful gorgeous and happy to get this in the hand of the collector who really really appreciate it Griffey Power Plus you gotta love these Power Plus cards so bright and shiny Griffey All Star Salute Griffey Sports Illustrated. These are uh, tough to find in good condition. They come out of magazines, Sports Illustrated magazine. This is from 1993. Anytime you can find these for a good price, grab them. They're, they're hard to find. The magazines get thrown away. Sports Illustrated for kids. <coughs> uh, the magazines get thrown away, tossed, not taken care of. and So I, I love finding these SI kid cards. This is a Frank Thomas warning track. I uh, saw it and thought the warning tracks were tough to pick up, but they're not. I looked them up and I like one per pack at retail. Anyway, still a cool card. Uh, not nice 90s insert. It's from 98. Fleer Tradition. I may already have this bag well. Um, Donner Salit Aspirations from what may be probably 98. Yes. Uh, 750 were produced, so time I can find that in the bargain bin, I'll take it all day long. <clears throat> Bagwell Swingmen Museum Collection from 95 Pinnacle. These museums are sweet. Had this one already, but again, uh, these food issues, this is a McDonald's. This is kind of considered a rookie card. Uh, it says it up here. It's a 92, I believe. Yeah, 92 McDonald's. Uh, bag was rookie cards are 91, so not really a rookie card, but anyway, McDonald's issue. My buddy Aaron picked this uh, bag of hit parade up for me. Nice looking shine. I guess that's uh, two, 2003. Yes. Everybody knows about these epics. These are epic. This is the epics moment. I think I had this one. Once again. Found them in the bargain bin. Gotta snag it. Working on the rainbow of this, so all the ones I need left are the expensive, really expensive ones. Another Bagwell Thunderclap. Got a couple of these, but just a beautiful card. Can't beat it for a quarter. <coughs> Excuse me. Donruss 2001 Bagwell Long Ball Leaders. These are number two, a thousand. Abigio First Rate, 96 Pinnacle. I may have this one, I can't remember, but. Like I said, I'll take them all day long in the bargain bins. When you go to these shows, uh, if you're looking for bargains and 90s stuff, you really have to sit down at these tables and dig, dig, dig. I mean, I was there from opening at 10 a.m. till 4.30. And 75% of my time was just sitting at tables, digging through the bins and the boxes and... Uh, finding all these beautiful 90s inserts. and uh, so This is a uh, Kenny Lofton 98 Bowman Chrome International Refractor. Just love the look of the card. Also saw this Lofton, Hall or Nothing. I don't really collect Lofton, but just nice cards. And apparently he's getting a lot of increase uh, hobby love so any lofton collectors out there interested in these holler at me 
Got this Pinnacle Zenith Mosaics. Got Joyner, Gwen, and Henderson. I was collecting Gwen and Puckett. Um, I've kind of slowed off on them a little bit, concentrating on uh, Bagwell, Maddenly, Biggio, and uh, started hitting Griffey a little bit more. So I backed off of Gwen and Puckett, but I love these mosaics, so I picked up this one. Didn't have it, I don't believe. <clears throat> Gotta love the one gone reverse negative. I had a couple of these, sold them off, and so I picked up another one. Iconic card from the 90s. Speaking of iconic cards, you can't pass up Bo Jackson 87 Donruses for the bargain prices. So I picked up a couple. Just because. Just because. Beautiful card. Iconic. Another iconic. 85 tops, good and rookie. Got this in my master set, but I'm pretty sure my Gooden is in bad shape. Um, so, picked up a replacement. 87 Donruss Greg Maddox Rookie. This is the last card I needed to complete my 87 Donruss set. Does have a little condition issues, but again, it's going in my set. Set filler. I'm fine with the condition. All right, this last card I got, I over I passed over this guy's booth several times because it it was just a mess, and I'm not ragging on people, but sometimes when I see a booth, it's just totally just oh just bad. Uh, I tend to just walk on by, and uh, my buddy Aaron he he went through the booth and said, yeah, it's a mess, but they got some they got some Astro stuff and. So I went looking through his Astro stuff and didn't really find anything. Uh, uh, that is where I got that Jeff Juden 90 tops that I needed for my Astro set. So I was leaving his booth and he had a case open and I just saw a, I saw a Bagwell in there. Just uh, what I thought was a base Bagwell. But I'm like, well, why would a base Bagwell be in a lockdown like this, you know, and... <laughs> Uh, picked it up, looked at it, and saw this right here. It's 101. So, of course, it's a 101. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm sure this is... I, ha I haven't looked at comps. I still haven't looked at comps. I mean, I know 101s are... This is from uh, 2014 Museum, Topps Museum Collection. So a real high-end set. But anyway, I know 101s are, you know, valuable, but they've kind of lost their luster of late. But, uh, so, you know, I was expecting, I was willing to pay up to $100, which is crazy for me. I, I very rarely spend over 10 bucks for a card, no matter what it is. I just, I'm a bargain hunter. I, I just wait and find it when I want it at the right price. Anyway, so I, I told myself, as soon as I saw it, one on one, I'm like, okay. It was towards the end of the show. Like, I, 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 I'm gonna spend up to a hundred dollars. Of course, I don't want to, but I'm a, I'll try to bargain with him. And I thought he would come back with, I don't know, one hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars. Again, I haven't looked at comps on similar players, but I mean, Bagwell is my number one guy, followed closely by Maddenly. Kind of goes back and forth, but anyway, enough ranting. I asked the guy how much, and it was some young guy, um, I think he was just helping the guy at the booth, and uh, I said, how much is that? And he goes, ooh, how about five? So I'm thinking, uh, 500, yeah, I can't do that, you know. I was like, 500? He said, no, five bucks. I went, sold, and uh, so I picked it up, you know. It's my, uh, really my first one-on-one in my whole collection i uh, did pull a babe ruth one of one from some odd set of upper deck that they made a card for each game he played so it it was a one of one but it wasn't really a one of one but i saw I sold it for like i don't know 50 bucks and then i have a bill doran one of one that i showed on a previous video from some sports convention years back that they they were giving those out at the convention it's like a 88 tops stamped 101. So I, I got that off of COMC. But this is my first 
sweet, true, PC, one of one. Jeff Bagwell picked it up for five bucks. So, all right, I've ranted long enough. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I will bust these. I might bust one today and then come back with a recap video. Um, just a lot going on. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful Sunday and a great work week. Later, guys. Thank you.